January 2nd, 2015 from Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe, Arizona. It was the Washington Huskies versus the Oklahoma State Cowboys in the Cactus Bowl. And the Cowboys got the ball first. They had it on their own 16 after the kickoff. They would bring the ball to midfield. And they had a second and seven at the 50. And Mason Rudolph hit David Glidden for a 30-yard reception to bring it down to the 20. Rudolph then went to Seton. And he picked up 18 yards to make it first and goal on the two. And then on second and goal from the one, James Castleman punched it in from a yard out for the game's first score. And it was now Oklahoma State 7, Washington 0. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 26 with less than 10 minutes left in the first. And they went three and out on their first possession and punted from their own 25. Now Oklahoma State would take over after the punt with about eight and a half minutes left in the first quarter. And on third and eight from the 38, Mason Rudolph was sacked by Corey Littleton. And he fumbled the ball and the Huskies recovered. So they had possession now on the Oklahoma State 28 with less than eight minutes left in the first. They picked up, they weren't able to pick up a first down. They actually got penalized for holding on the first play. Then an incomplete passes sandwiched a 12-yard reception, but that made it fourth and eight from the 26. They brought out Cameron Van Winkle to attempt a 43-yard field goal. It was up and it was no good. So it was still 7 to nothing. Cowboys over the Huskies. And Oklahoma State took over on their own 26 after the missed field goal with less than 7 minutes on the clock in the first. They picked up a first down, but then on first and 10 from the 48, Mason Rudolph was intercepted by Buda Baker. So Buda Baker with the interception. And now the Huskies had the ball on the Oklahoma State 49 with 5.5 left in the first, but they went 3 and out. So their offense wasn't able to do anything with the turnover. The, the defense gave them and so now they would punt from the 41 and Oklahoma State would take over on their own 16 after the punt with less than four minutes left in the first quarter then it bring the ball up to midfield and on first and 10 from the 49 Brandon Shepard hit Mason Rudolph for a 22 yard completion and now that made a first down on the 29 and on second and nine from the 28 James Washington caught a 28 yard touchdown pass from Mason Rudolph and it was now Oklahoma State 14, Washington 0. So now the Huskies beat the ball after the kickoff on their own 20, which is seconds left in the first. And on first down, Dwayne Washington lost a couple yards, and the first quarter came to a close. So after one quarter of play, the score was Oklahoma State 14, Washington nothing. So now to open up the second quarter, the Huskies had the ball on their own 18. It was second and 12. They picked up a couple of yards, and on third and 10, they picked up nine, but they were a yard shy, and so they went three and out on the possession and punted from their own 29, and now Oklahoma State would take over after the punt on their own 30 with less than 14 minutes left before halftime. They ended up bringing the ball into Washington State or Washington Territory, and Washington would end up. Oklahoma State would end up stalling on the Washington 23, and they brought out Ben Grogan to attempt a 40-yard field goal. It was up, and it was good, and that made it 17 to nothing as the Cowboys scored 17 unanswered points on the Huskies to open up this game. And now the Huskies would take over on their own 24 with about nine and a half minutes left in the second quarter. They end up getting into Oklahoma State territory, and on third and six from the 34, they picked up four yards, a pass from Siler Wiles to Dwayne Wiles. Washington, but now it was fourth and two. They elected to go for it instead of going for a field goal. It would have been at least a 47 yard attempt. But instead, they ended up going for it, and Dwayne Washington lost four yards. And so they lost yards, and they turned the ball over on downs. And now the Cowboys would take over on their own 34 after the turnover on downs with less than six minutes left before halftime. They would get into Washington territory, but then they started losing yards, and a couple delay of game penalties, and the punting unit would come out to punt from the Washington 43 after nine plays on the possession. So now Washington would take over after the punt on their own two-yard line, backed up against their own end zone, and they went three and out. And there was less than two minutes when they got the ball. They would kick from their own six as they punted the ball to Oklahoma State, who took over on their own 44 after the punt, with just over a minute still left on the clock in the first half. They are faced with a second and one, and Mason Rudolph from the 47, their own the Washington 47, and Mason Rudolph hit Brandon Shepard for a 47-yard touchdown, and it was now Oklahoma State 24, Washington 0. 
So now Washington State would get the ball with less than a minute left before halftime. They had it on their own 22. They brought it up to midfield. They actually ended up getting it all the way into Oklahoma territory, but an incomplete pass would bring the first half to a close. So at halftime was Oklahoma State 24, Washington nothing. As the Cowboys scored 24 unanswered points in the first half, and their defense blanked the Huskies. And now to start the second half, the Huskies would get the ball first. They had it on their own 18. They ended up bringing it up towards midfield. They're at the Oklahoma State 46 and Siler Miles hit Daryl Daniels for a 15-yard reception. They made a first down on the 31. They then gave it to Jaden Mickens and he ran at 31 yards for the touchdown. And so the Huskies put the first points on the board in the second half and their first points on the board of this game on their first possession of the second half. So now it was 24-7. to Cowboys over the Huskies and the Cowboys would now take over after the kickoff on their own 30 Five. They'd go three and out on the possession and punt from their own 41. And now Washington would take over for the second time in the second half on their own 15 with 10 minutes left in the third quarter. But after eight plays, they would end up punting from the Oklahoma State 40. So now Oklahoma State would take over on their own 19 after the punt was six and a half on the clock in the third. But after seven plays, they punted from the Washington 44. So now on the punt, it ended up being fumbled by the Huskies. And so Oklahoma State ended up getting the ball back on the Washington 15. So they had the ball in the red zone. They weren't able to get it in the end zone, and they would bring out Brent Grograin to attempt the 27-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And now the Cowboys led by 20 with the score. Oklahoma State 27, Washington 7. So now Washington would get the ball kicked off to them. And on the kickoff, John Ross ran it back 96 yards for the Huskies for the touchdown. And so Oklahoma State on the kickoff lets up a 96-yard touchdown by John Ross. And now it was Oklahoma State 27, Washington 14. So the Huskies would kick off to the Cowboys. There ended up being a penalty for unsportsmanlike conduct. And so now the Cowboys would take over. And on first, after getting a first down, they would get the ball to midfield. And on first and 10 from the 50, Mason Rudolph was sacked by Andrew Hudson. And that would bring the third quarter to a close. So after three quarters of play, the score was Oklahoma State 27, Washington 14. And to begin the fourth quarter, it was second and 11 on the Oklahoma State 49 for the Cowboys. But they weren't able to get a first down. They ended up punting from the Washington 42. So now the Huskies would take over on their own five-yard line after the punt with 13 and a half left in the fourth quarter. They would end up bringing the ball to midfield and into Oklahoma State territory. But they were faced with a fourth and six on the Oklahoma State 37. They elected to go for it as they were down by 13 points. There was about nine and a half minutes on the clock in the fourth. And they handed the ball off to Siler Miles. Well, he's quarterback. He ended up running four yards. And he was short of the first down, two yards shy. So they turned the ball over on downs. Now the Cowboys would take over on their own 33 with nine and a half on the clock in the fourth. And they had to bring the ball to midfield. And they got it to the red zone, but they ended up stalling on the 17. And Ben Krogan came out to kick a 34-yard field goal. It was up. It was good. And it was now a 16-point lead for the Cowboys with the score Oklahoma State 30, Washington 14. So now the Huskies would take over on their own 33 with less than six minutes on the clock. And on second and 10 from the 33, Siler Miles hit Kassen Williams for an 18-yard reception. They made a first down in the Oklahoma State 49. And on second and two from the 41, Dwayne Washington ran five yards to the 36 for the first down. Washington then ran 12 yards to the 24 for another first down. And on third and two from the 16, Siler Miles hit Jaden Mickens for a 16-yard touchdown pass. And it was now an eight-point game after the two-point conversion was successful. Siler Miles passed it to Deontay Cooper. So now they got eight points out of the touchdown as the two-point conversion was successful. And now the score was Oklahoma State 30, Washington 22. So now they kicked the ball off, and the Cowboys took over on their own 27 with three and a half left to play, up by eight. And they actually would make short work of the field because on third and two from the 35, Mason Rudolph hit James Castleman for a 48-yard reception. It was now a first down in the red zone for the Cowboys on the Washington 17, but they didn't get a first down. And on fourth and three from the 10, they brought up Ben Grogren. He came out to attempt a 27-yard field goal. It was kind of a chip shot. It was up, and he missed it. 
so he missed the field goal that would have made it a two-score game and now Washington still had life with less than a minute on the clock they had the ball on their own 20 down by eight needing to go 80 yards and get a two-point conversion to tie this one up and send it to overtime and on second and ten from the 20 Siler Miles went to Joshua Perkins he picked up 12 yards on the first down of the 32 they then spiked the ball then an incomplete pass brought up third and ten from the 32 and Siler Miles ended up running it 13 yards and somehow some way he was able to get out of bounds to stop the clock just seconds left and it was first and 10 from the 45 Siler Miles drops back and he was intercepted by Kevin Peterson so Peterson comes up with a clutch interception and that seals the victory for the Cowboys as all that was left to do was for them to take a knee in the victory formation and the Cowboys hold on to win this one after being up 24 to nothing at halftime they end up winning this game with a final score, Oklahoma State 30, Washington 22. <clears throat> so in the second half, Oklahoma State was outscored 22-6. to But they hold on and they end up winning the game. They end up getting that interception on the second to last play. But in this game, Mason Rudolph was 17 for 26 with 299 passing yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. He also had negative 15 yards off four carries. Siler Miles was 25 for 38. He had 268 passing yards, one touchdown, and one interception. He had nine carries for 27 yards. And the leading rusher in the game was Desmond Rowland. He had 32 carries for 123 yards. The leading rusher for the Huskies was Dwayne Washington with 13 carries for 42 yards. And the leading receiver in this game was Brandon Shepard of the Cowboys. He had five receptions for 98 yards and a touchdown. And the leading receiver for the Huskies was Jaden Mickens. He had seven receptions for 82 yards and a touchdown. And Kaysen Williams had five receptions for 73 yards. And each team got a pick. Buda Baker had a pick for Washington. And Kevin Peterson comes up with that clutch pick in the final moments of the game that seals the victory. As the comeback attempt fell short for the Huskies. He scored 22 points in the second half. But Oklahoma State, they dominated the first half, and they hold on to win in the second half as the Cowboys are victorious in the Cactus Bowl with the final score, Oklahoma State 30, Washington 22.